Halt! In the name of the king. Mr. Dawes, I will allow myself to be captured. You, however, must go on to Concord and warn of the approaching army. Very well, Mr. Rivier! My God, be with you! Do not fire! I submit myself! Ah. Ah. Rise, more fellows. <gasps> Oi, why have you disturbed us in our slumber? Keep the noise down. Noise? You will have noise here enough before long. The regulars are coming out. They are here to seize our stores of weaponry. Sound the alarm. Oh. I want my men ready to make a stand. Yes. Yes. How much longer do we have, Mr. Dawes? The regulars shall be here by morning. Stand your ground! Don't fire unless fired upon! But if they mean to have a war, let it begin here! Remember why we are here. General Gage sent us to capture the supplies in Concord. We are only passing through. Disperse, you rebels, damn you! Throw down your arms and disperse! Disperse, my man! Disperse? Damn them! We'll have them! Lay down your arms, you damn rubble! Oh! Oh! Ah! Oh! 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 In the name of God, stop my men! Forward, march! You, hide your gun in the bush. You, hide it behind that tree. Colonel Barrett, sir, as Dr. Prescott and Mr. Dawes had told us today morning, the Redcoats are upon us. Hark! A rider approaches. Colonel Barrett, Colonel Barrett, there's been a massacre in Lexington. The Redcoats are firing ball. They shoot to kill. Oh, no! Thank you. We must make haste and take the high ground. Come. Ready, halt. Search the town, destroy any arms you find. Immediately, Colonel Smith. Captain Parsons, secure the North Bridge. I go, sir. Come. Yes, sir. Wait. You two, come with me. Leave no rock unturned. If the rebels have firearms, we will find them. Captain Lorry, hold this bridge. Yes, sir. Contraption! Do you reckon it's alive? I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. Sir, I'll try to open the contraption. Move! Sir! Weapons! 
in the buttocks of a metal horse. Those damn rebels, they mean to have a war upon us. Burn it. Yes, sir. Hark, they be smoke and conquer. What? My family's down there. Will you let them burn down the town? Ready your arms, men, but do not fire unless fired upon. We're going across that bridge and back into Concord. The militia advances. Damn them. Let us fall back to the other side. Go across, men. They'll not fire. About face. Should we fire, sir? Warning volley on my mark, men. Fire. Oh, well, they're getting they're getting too close. Ah! Oh, heavenly father! Ah! The fire and balls! Fire, fellow soldiers! God's sake! Fire! Yes, my father. Oh! 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 here and we here rapping flex combo shizzle one two three let's go Lexington and Conquer was oh so bloody and the conditions they fought were really muddy at first the records were all fun while colonists were completely dumb the place was so light and depressing and the colonists started really compressing man oh man the shot heard around the world is the greatest battle to have ever been told Paul Revere, he's a G. William Dawes is friend to be. Man, oh man, he's a miracle. And Lex is not at all respectful. William Dawes rode to conquer to save his folks from ugly horse. He rode upon the big thigh horse to warn his force from intimidating force. Together they saved the states from tyranny and they gave us all a thrill to see. All us records were back and forth until the British were sent to the north. People endured lots of pain and blood while the colonists remained as collective studs. The records used their collectivism while colonists used their nationalism. Lexington and Concord was unforgettable and always remembered as one great battle. Damn! Until that end, it was perfect.